back off, you bastard. Come any closer and I'll rip your head off. Rosa, it's me, Thomas. Oh. Oh, he, he must have clobbered me in the back of the head before taking off. Are you okay? There, there were these, these shadowy things standing over you. What? Look, while you're chasing shadows, that jerk tried to kill me. I bit him good, though, right on the hand. Did you get any of the blood sampled? I saw some hit the floor. Yes, sampled and transferred back to the lab. Excellent. I can patch in through this computer and do a remote analysis. Bingo. DNA from the sample matches DNA taken from the metro station hideout. This is the guy. This is our serial killer X. He killed the policeman, and he's been killing all of the other guys on their case list. What did he want with you? He wanted to know what we knew about the torturer. He made me look it up on the net. He knows the whole M.O. now. The abduction, torture, suicide thing. Thomas, the torturer is on your case list, and he's the only one whose trail hasn't gone cold since we ran into this serial killer X. X wants the torturer to die. He's hunting him down. Take a look at this. This is Jennifer Alden, reporting from police headquarters. Developments in the case of the torturer serial killer. A retired gym teacher from the city's juvenile rehabilitation program has informed police of contact he had almost eight years ago with a troubled youth named Carl Anderson, who reported fantasies that match the torturer's methods exactly. Authorities are now asking the public to inform police if they know of Carl Anderson's whereabouts. Do not approach the suspect, as he should be considered armed and dangerous. Sources within the police department are telling me they are also concerned because their informant can no longer be located. Department spokespersons have refused comment on this latest development. This is Jennifer Alden, reporting for News Channel 5. Carl Anderson. Hmm. Gym teacher tells the cops on you, and now the teacher can't be found. Okay, Rosa, we have to find the school where this teacher worked. School and city district records are in the basement. Follow me. Hopefully this key will get us where we need to go. Yeah, busted my flashlight, though. Stay put. I thought I saw something down there in the dark. I'll be there in a minute.
your way around to the door on the other side. I'll let you in there. <laughs> Jump down and see if you can find your way back to the stairs. I'll go back this way. There's no way past. Climb down to the next floor and I'll meet up with you down there. Eight years ago would put the kid and the teacher at the same school in 1997. Here it is. Anderson Carl. There's a lot of Carl Andersons, but I bet this is our guy. He was enrolled or sentenced to an educational rehabilitation center for the severely troubled. St. Joseph's Secondary on Northeast 52nd and Fremont. It's been closed for five years. No wonder. That's one of the worst parts of town. Christ, the cops have just been letting it go to hell for years. And what about the faculty? It doesn't list occupations. Just a list of names. I'll take it back to the lab and see what I can find. It's him. He's been listening to us. It looks like we've attracted other unwanted attention. for it. What about our serial killer X? He's got the same information we do, so that means he's also going to go to the school. Perhaps I can catch two killers with one i I'll drive you there, then head back to HQ and work on that faculty list. 